Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this my exponent problem? You have 3 raised to power a plus 3 raised to power minus a equals to 18. And to find the value of a, let's write this as 3 raised to power a then plus 1 over 3 raised to power a from the law of indices. You can write this as that which is equals to 18. Then from here, we have also over 1 here and the LCM here, the same thing as 3 raised to power a. So we can multiply through this equation by the LCM which is 3 raised to power a. And when 3 raised to power a multiply this, it will be 3 raised to power a, then square plus 3 raised to power a multiply this. You can see each other in one that's plus one equals to three raised to power a times eighteen. We have eighteen times three raised to power a. Then from there we have three raised to power a common. Let's use a letter to represent that. So let the letter hex be equals to three raised to power a. Then this will become x squared. Then plus 1 equals to 18x. Then let's bring 18x to this side and form a quadratic equation. So this will become x squared minus 18x plus 1 equals to 0. Then we can use quadratic formula to solve this. That is x here will be equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a and in this case our a is 1 b is minus 18 and c is also 1 so here x will now be equal to minus minus 18 plus or minus square root of minus 18 square then minus 4 times 1 times 1 then over 2 times 1 and from here we have x now to be equals to 18 plus or minus square root of minus 18 square will be 324 that's then minus 4 here <coughs> divided by 2 and from here <coughs> this become x equals to 18 plus or minus square root of 320 then over 2 and from here we can separate 320 as root 64 times 5 and root 64 is 16 Sorry, that's root 64, that's 8 times root 5 now. So we have 8 root 5. And from here, this become x equals to 18 plus or minus 8 root 5, then over 2. Then from here, 2 can go in 18 and also go in 8. And this will be x equals to 9 plus or minus 4 root 5 so we have two possible cases here the first we have x equals to 9 plus 4 root 5 and also we have x equals to 9 minus 4 root 5 and we should recall that we represented x as 3 raised to power a. So it means 3 raised to power a now equals to 9 plus 4 root 5. And also here 3 raised to power a is equals to 9 minus 4 root 5. So from here we take the log on both sides. We have log 3 raised to power a equals to log 9 plus 4 root 5. Then Applying the law of log reading, 
the power here come to the back we have a log 3 here now which is equals to log 9 plus 4 root 5 yeah then we can divide both sides by log 3 so when we divide both sides by log 3 from here log 3 cancel each other and this here left with a which is equals to log 9 plus 4 root 5 then over log 3 here we can write it in change of a and that will be 3 so here we have the value of a on this side and similarly here when we also take the log on both sides and then also we saw this will give us log 3 raised to power a equals to log 9 minus 4 root 5 do the same thing as a log 3 equals to log 9 minus 4 root 5 and from here also the variable side by log 3 from here log 3 cancel out here and also here from here will be equals to log 9 minus 4 root 5 then also the 3 so these are the two possible values of a on this given math problem and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos put on the notification bell put your comment in the comment section give a thumbs up and share this video see you next class and bye for now